Item number, SCP-444. Level two restricted. Containment class, Euclid. Disruption class, Kenick. Risk class, Danger. Special containment procedures. Instances of SCP-444 identified outside of Foundation custody are to be isolated or destroyed with extreme prejudice. The Foundation's instances of SCP-444 are to be kept under Type A hazardous documentation protocols. Translators are to have no more than 12 hours weekly access to SCP-444 and must undergo weekly linguistics and psychological examinations. Individuals compromised by SCP-444 are to be isolated and prevented from making vocalizations and are to be terminated unless they are required for testing protocols. Rapid Response Task Force Omicron 11, aka Burke's Boys, is to be used wherever possible due to the deaf nature of its members. Description SCP-444 is a linguistically conveyed memetic virus. SCP-444 takes the form of a valid and coherent, if limited, language. Individuals exposed to SCP-444 assimilate it and lose their ability to use or learn other languages, although they typically retain their ability to understand previously understood languages. Written examples of SCP-444 require extended contact, but verbal exposure has effect after only a few sentences. The mechanism for this change is still unknown. SCP-444's written form has a unique alphabet of geometric shapes read in a radiating pattern from the center. Systematic examination of SCP-444, primarily in experiments 444-7-13 and-17, reveals that it lacks the ability to express several concepts including rebellion, hatred, anger, in addition, over an extended period, the lack of the ability to express these concepts appears to alter human behavior. Subjects infected with SCP-444 become more docile and compliant, as well as more concerned with procreation and childcare. Re-examination of the data from Experiment 444-17, gathered from MRIs, live electrode examination, and dissections of infected brains, confirms that SCP-444 causes significant alterations to human brain structure, chemically severing of the brain. This, not the reduced vocabulary, is believed to cause the altered mentality of the infected. The primary area of Foundation research into SCP-444 currently is to isolate the source. SCP-444 is to be considered a hostile invasive weapon. Since 19 instances of SCP-444 exposure have been recorded, typically among migratory workers or the underclass in depressed urban areas. Experiment Log 444-7 Chief Researchers Mr. J. Mellows, Linguistics Expert Dr. Sociology Expert Military Assessor Experimental Parameters It has been suggested that psychological deviations may occur as a result of long-term infection with SCP-444 due to limitation of vocabulary. 50 Class D personnel with violent backgrounds were exposed to SCP-444 and placed in a sealed environment with limited but sufficient resources. They were informed that they were not to be released at any point and their environment would not be interfered with by the Foundation. A control group of 50 Class D personnel was also maintained. Monthly terminations were suspended for both groups. Date Control Group Group introduced to environment. By the end of week 2, population stands at 42. Test group. Group introduced to environment. By the end of week 2, population stands at 47. Date. Control group. Wide-scale violence and gang culture has developed. By end of month 1, population stands at 26, with several subjects suffering from malnutrition. Test group. Group has entered stable group dynamic behind four dominant personalities. By end of month one, population stands at 42. Date. Control group. Violence escalated significantly. By end of month six, population stands at seven. Group terminated as non-viable. Test group. Group authority has dissolved. Organization is functioning as an ideal anarchic commune. By end of month 6, population stands at 42, with several pregnancies. Date Control Group Extinct Test Group 
One year after experiment commenced, population stands at 52. One additional, unexposed Category D personnel was introduced. Group rapidly accepts introduced personnel as leader, showing no resistance to subjugation. Group terminated and youths placed in custody to establish development in infants. Date Infant Group Progressive Development Confirmed Group Terminated Notes Potential cure is still being examined. Behavior of SCP-444 infectees would be valuable in D-Class personnel if its spread could be contained. Value of SCP-444 as a potential invasion tool confirmed. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.